In this video, I'll be going over the four most commonly encountered snake species in the state of Utah. This list will go from number four to one, with one being the most common snake species. I created this list according to my lifelong experience being in the outdoors and seeing these snakes on my own. The first snake on our list is the Great Basin Rattlesnake. Rattlesnakes are the only venomous snakes in Utah, and the Great Basin Rattlesnake, also known as the Western Rattlesnake, is by far the most common of the seven types of rattlesnakes in Utah. These snakes can be found basically everywhere in the entire state. Because of the similar patterns that they share, these snakes are often misidentified as diamondback rattlesnakes, which actually don't even live in Utah. The Great Basin Rattlesnake is light brown or gray, with a tapering row of brownish splotches down the midline of the back. Their scales are large and are not flat or smooth, but can be seen protruding out of the body. Their dusty colored patterns make them extremely camouflaged. Here's a picture I took just the other day in the foothills near my home. Can you find the snake? Number three, the Western Yellow-Bellied Racer. These snakes are a solid gray color on their top scales and a bright yellow color on the belly, hence the name Yellow-Bellied Racer. I often come across these snakes near a desert water source, and sometimes even find them slithering around in the trees or the sagebrush. When caught and handled, they tend to be pretty aggressive snakes. The name Racer is no coincidence either. These snakes are extremely fast, as you'll see in this little clip here. Gopher snake. These snakes are often feared because of their resemblance to rattlesnakes. While the gopher snake obviously doesn't have a rattle, another way to tell the two apart is the head shape. Gopher snakes have a much more smooth and slender head shape compared to the scaly round head of a rattlesnake. In other parts of the US, you may know the snake as a bull snake, which is a subspecies of gopher snake that is extremely similar in appearance. It is also commonly called a blow snake because of the blowing sound it makes, which I actually managed to catch in this clip here if you listen very closely. Before I introduce the final snake species, I'd like to extend the invitation to like and subscribe. As a new YouTube channel, it helps more than you might think. And the number one most encountered species is the garter snake. These snakes are extremely prevalent near populated areas, making them super easy to find. They are often found very close to water, and some people even refer to them as water snakes. As far as snakes go, they are generally pretty small and rarely get over three feet. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.